All right, so we are doing a Star Wars collection room tour video. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I'm finally doing it. So I'm gonna talk a lot. Uh, this is gonna be fairly in depth and I'm literally just doing this for the first time. So there might be a lot of uhs and ums and may not be able to think of some stories behind some things, but I'm gonna do the best I can. So anyway, let's go in. So we have a lot going on here. So I'll kind of just do a little bit of a pan through everything. And then we'll start getting into the sections in depth. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. I think it's still like 50 some degrees, which is crazy. But just showing off some stuff here. And again, I have things pretty well organized, pretty well sectioned off. Uh, that's a closet back there in which I do have some more stuff just kind of in storage. Uh, it's mostly stuff like that, like three and three quarters carded figures, just things like that that I've gotten over the past X amount of years, but that's boring. Not too much going on there. Uh, but just kind of showing off everything here. And again, just doing a little bit of a pan view of everything and then I'll start getting into the sections a little more individually, but you'll kind of find the trends in some of this stuff. I have it, a lot of like parts in the same area. And I honestly, I find the displaying element of this stuff just as fun as being a Star Wars fan, watching the movies, the shows, all that stuff. Uh, I pretty much love everything Star Wars has done, every era. Uh, I think it all has its place. And I'm a fan of all of it. And to me, the biggest thing of Star Wars is kind of what you take from it. And if a person watches a certain movie or series and they find a personal meaning or something behind that, that is awesome. And to me, that's what being a fan is all about. And that's why the saga has meant something special to so many people is just that applicable element of being able to find yourself through a character or a scene or just something that makes an impact in you. And I found a little bit of something from every era of this stuff, so... Like many, it's been a very good part of my life for pretty much since I was a baby, so. And now I have a bunch of stuff in a room. <laughs> so that's about it for the little pan view of everything. So I guess we'll start over here. Um, My chair and my seating. This is actually a Yogi Bo, Y-O-G-I-B-O -O is the company. They actually make adult and child beanbag chairs. So this is actually a really awesome company. Um, super comfortable. They did have a Star Wars line that came out, which obviously I got the Rebel Alliance chair and the matching ottoman with it. And the blanket on there is from a company called Heroes and Villains. It's a fabric blanket. Super comfortable, super warm, but that's pretty much where I'm sitting. I wanted to... Obviously a Star Wars themed chair if I could get it and I did start with a couple like movie director chairs in here that fit the aesthetic and made complete sense but they just weren't too comfortable after a while so this thing was an awesome purchase highly recommend the brand the company um I even sent them an inquiry about an update on the ottoman when I ordered it because they like just got it back in stock and this shows how great of a company Yogi Bo was but they responded to me instantly and we kind of started talking through email and I showed them a couple pictures of the room and they were just like, oh my goodness. And they basically out of the blue sent me this little stuffed Ewok up there and those little three tiny little things. There's a, a Grogu, a BB-8 and a, a little Chewbacca like hand stress ball squishy thing looking things up there. They actually sent me those and just like, hey, we want to contribute to your collection. The Ottoman's on the way, but... And to me, that's just so nice, so cool of them. Highly recommend it. So anyway, that's where I'm usually chilling. Uh, I can move it if I'm if I want to play a video game or something, and be on a more pronounced spot. I can do that. But perfect chair for the room. And then next to that, I got my BB-8, uh, my BB-9E that I got from Disney World. And then I actually have my three drones. Those black boxes. There's an X-wing, a speeder bike, and Darth Vader's Tie Fighter. Those are my drones. I've never opened them. I probably won't, but I do think the box is cool. 
So they'll probably stay there, and I think they're illegal in DC to have. I don't think you can actually have a drone. So then I got a Grogu and a uh, little Star Wars bear back there, and they're really just hiding a couple cords for those lights. And then by that, I have a solo poster. Uh, Angela and I both got those. That was from the uh, opening night fan event for Solo. We pretty much go to an opening night event for every Star Wars movie we can. There's always some type of giveaway. Uh, so Solo, they did a poster and then a couple buttons. So we got that. This is my galaxy light. So this actually shines like a sky and stars and stuff on the ceiling, which looks super awesome. I don't have it running because it's daytime and you can't really see it all that well. So, but that thing was an awesome purchase. So that's another part of my lighting, just a little coaster sitting there. And this is my one and only hot toy currently. It's Ray from Rise of Skywalker. Came with Dio, uh, insane amount of accessories. I don't know if any of you are into hot toys, but these things are crazy. So realistic, unbelievably crafted. Um, I think she came with seven different hands. Yeah. So that shows like how many accessories this thing came with. So the hands, if you want to have different grips or have her in different poses, you could switch those unbelievable but i do have the clone wars ahsoka also coming and then they are going to have a padme coming out this year so i'm going to pre-order that so i will have three hot toys but at this point i just have ray and then have my tartakovsky clone wars figures back there i have eight of those i think there was maybe 10 or 12 in the line but i have them all except uh the grievous um, and then I think there were two ARC Troopers. I do not have either of the ARC Troopers. So, but every other one of those I have super cool. And then below that, I actually have some of my dioramas, which I really enjoy doing. So I have the Tanta V4. Pretty much the opening scene of A New Hope. Where Vader's busting in and Rebel Fleet Troopers are getting worked over. And Leia's putting the plans in R2, and the rest is history. So I have that, and then my Java's playset. Uh, Java's Palace playset. So huge mix of three and three quarter figures here. Um, pretty much got Leia with the thermal detonator, trying to put some sense into these fools. But got her back there. Got Ula. We got Salacious with Jabba. Again, that was a, a New Hope Jabba, but I really don't care. I pretty much buy, for these dioramas, I pretty much go on eBay and buy the cheapest thing that I can possibly find. So that was the cheapest Jabba, so he's in there hanging out. I think he looks absolutely perfect. So highly recommend that. You never know when you'll find a good deal. Um, got Sly Snoodles, Max Rebo Band rocking out. Got the Dancers. Got a lot of Bounty Hunters. Just a lot of random people in here that could have been in Jabba's palace at one time. So not exactly movie accurate per se, but it's all something that feasibly could have or probably did happen at some point. So got those. And then staying with the dioramas. So here I have my carbon freezing chamber in the window. So that light, that Death Star is a light. Uh, my Powerlifters got me that as well as that smaller Death Star there. So they hang out there. Again, I'm not running the light because it's light outside, but when it's dark, it looks super awesome. So yeah, I have that going on. And then, of course, I got the I love you, I know scene going down. You got to, you got to the LEDs under there, add so much to it. And then, of course, you got Slave One right there. You have Vader rocking the top. I do have a probe droid there. That is actually one of the, uh, that was a Disney Park exclusive on May the 4th one year. So that's one of those like die cast ones. Um, I'm blanking on what they're called, but they're actually a six inch scale. But I just put it up there just because it does kind of fit the Empire Strikes Back theme a little bit as this and hides the cord a little bit, just kind of blends it in, looks good. And then on these little shelves, I have my Galaxy of Adventures, Heroes, my figures of those, the black box ones, the white box ones, I have most of them. Might have all of them, but I'm not really sure. That's not a major thing I collect, but I did think they were cool when they came out. So have those, they store perfectly there. So 
And then here I got a Darth Vader lamp. Got that going. And then my gentle giant busts. I have five of these currently, the mini busts. I have a Padme, Clone Wars Ahsoka, unbelievably cool. I got Jango Fett, uh, Shore Trooper, and then a uh, First Order Snow Trooper back there. So got those and then a really cool custom diorama here. So this was the uh, Pulse exclusive Emperor Palpatine and Throne Room set. And it just kind of put some villains up there, and then we got Luke. So the whole theme of this is when, uh, in the Battle of Hoth, when Dak is talking to Luke, and he's like, yeah, I think I can take on the whole Empire myself. And Luke is like, I know what you mean. So this is Luke taking on the whole Empire himself, which I thought that was kind of cool. So I got that, and then it's bottom shelf down here, just some random stuff. But I got a uh, Padme doll that Angela bought me. A random Kylo Ren a C-3PO helmet. It's actually a cup topper from the Rise of Skywalker movie. A couple figures. Uh, I've got this color Grogu that Angela's mom got me for Christmas actually this year. So it came completely white and it came with markers and you got to color it. So I did that. That was kind of cool. A little Darth Vader nightlight that my power lifters got me. Um, and then that is a Rise of Skywalker opening night ticket which is really freaking cool. So got that. Random stuff down there. There's a Dio. There's actually another Dio over there. That's an iPhone cord. Uh, hate the way it looks, but it's functional and practical, but hit it a little bit, but that's there. Uh, and under here, probably the most pointless thing in my collection is my multimedia stuff. So just kind of some random DVDs, VHSs, Blu-rays, random stuff over the years for that. And then next shelf up, I got some of my books. Um, these are just kind of guides, dictionaries, things like that. A couple of my novels. Um, I'm reading The Light of the Jedi right now, the uh, High Republic book. Really enjoying it so far. I'm maybe, maybe halfway through currently, but I really am enjoying that. So highly recommend it. But I'm like eight books or 10 books behind, I feel like. So I probably will not read all of them. I don't read a ton. But I usually do have a, a book going, but I'll milk it for ever. So I'm reading that right now. A couple random lunch boxes. That's a Mandalorian one uh, back there. Then that's actually a Star Wars Celebration Empire Strikes Back lunch box. Kind of cool. Oh, Mandalorian print right there. And I think that's probably about it in this region, this little corner. So again, got all this stuff going on here. Do have a candle burning, that's not Star Wars. Uh, they do make Star Wars scented candles actually, but unfortunately that's just a regular Christmas one. So I got that going, but yeah. So let's work our way up. So I guess we'll do this. Behind the gentle giant busts, um, I have to my retro collection figures. So I have A New Hope. I got a Star Wars wall clock up there. That's pretty sweet. Got that off Amazon. So he's retro collection. Got A New Hope, uh, Empire Strikes Back. And then on this wall, got that. And one more Empire one and then uh, getting into the Mandalorians. There's the Mandalorian season one. There are season two ones coming out in retro style. So I'm gonna have those. They're gonna go right there in that blank spot. And then the inevitable is they're gonna make Return of the Jedi ones for the uh, 40 year anniversary in uh, 2023. So I'll hopefully be able to fit those. I think I can. I mean, if they fit eight there, I could easily fit 10 or 12 there. So that should go there. That's the plan for now. And that was another interesting uh, challenge I could say of having a collection room is having it look complete but having room to grow the things I still collect without having to like rearrange my entire life so I think I've done a pretty good job of that but that's just kind of something like that where you have to like be thinking ahead of like what you do but again I enjoy it I like messing with all this stuff and it's a hobby to me I can sit in here and play around this stuff all day so it's a good time 
So got all those there. And then above that, that's actually a, a Lego poster from, it was a May the 4th giveaway one year. So got that. And then it's the back of a door. So on this back of the door, I kind of have some random uh, three and three quarters box figures. I try to make it a point to keep everything symmetrical. So this is Rosa Six, um, just different lines, different movies. I will switch out the figures with things in storage. Again, just gives me options to mess with it and just constantly change stuff. So I'll let you see some of these. I use command hooks for everything, unless it's something that's too heavy that I have to nail or push pin or something. But all my figures, pretty much most things on the wall, I'm using command strips. Um, if anybody's curious which ones I get for like the smaller ones and the figures, I can tell you that they're easy on Amazon. I think I get packs of 40 of them for like 10 bucks a piece. So but got those going on and they do not really damage stuff. Um, I do find that they peel off gloss paint like doors perfectly. I've never had an issue with paint chipping off a door, but our walls that are more like a flat coat or something like that, it can get the paint off from time to time. So that kind of sucks, but at the end of the day, paint is an easy fix. You know, it's better than having a bunch of holes everywhere. So just a little side note on that, but that's just something I've found in my experience. So above those, I actually have my Force Awakens Build-A-Bears. Not gonna get into the TBC yet. That's gonna be later on, but I have my Star Wars Build-A-Bears that I think are so cool. Um, got those on sale May the 4th one year, but I got Rey, Kylo, Chewie, and uh, Captain Phasma. Those are super awesome. Got those up there. Yeah, so working your way back around. Guess we'll work our way up here. So I have a couple little small gentle giant little statues. They're real small busts. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I have a 501st clone and then a uh, hammerhead. And then these are my actual like vintage figures. Um, I do not have a ton of them, but that's something that I do plan to continue to grow over time. But I have a lot of the Ewoks, the good guys on the left, bad guys on the right. I got Obi-Wan, Chewbacca, I got a Vader, and yes, their little sabers are still holding on, which is rare because they're 40 years old, they're flimsy, and kids break things, so happy those are in good conditions. And then the bad one, bad guys, I got a lot of, most of the bounty hunters. Um, you know, Stormtrooper, Death Squad Commander, Walrus Man, <laughs> Snowtrooper. So this is my retro figures. And then above that, I have a really cool Rise of Skywalker poster. Again, I'm definitely a sequels fan. Like I said earlier, I love all the movies and pretty much all Star Wars content. I'm a fan of all of it, and it's all what you make of it. Um, easily, Kylo Ren is the best character from the sequels, hands down. Uh, I like everybody else too, but just his whole arc was phenomenal. So we got that. I see myself in the reflection. That's fun. So over there, I have, I kind of informally call this like my top shelf figures, <laughs> but just some random like nicer ones or more rare ones. But in the middle there, that's actually my Luke from the theater. That was from 1997 when they re-released the uh, tr original trilogy for the special edition. That was opening night at Return of the Jedi. I saw that at Danbury Cinemas in Middletown, Ohio, that was actually a uh, suburb of Cincinnati, which I'm from. So got that opening night there. Uh, forever one of my favorite pieces that I've had. It was kind of the first like high-end thing that I got. I remember free giveaway for a movie. It was worth like 150 bucks at the time. So I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And that was like my grail back in the day as a kid. So still have him there. Got... Commander Bakara, right there, a clone. I got a Legacy Collection Padme. Got an Anakin that's actually an Anakin Invader, like his burned up version from Revenge of the Sith. Clone Wars Asajj Ventress. Two of the prototype figures. Um, I got the Stormtrooper and the Boba Fett, and then three of the uh, Disney Park holiday droids. So there's one like Christmas one and two Halloween ones. So I got those going on, and then above that, I have one of the new 
TBC droid figures. That's the only one I've gotten so far. I do have all of them pre-ordered, so. But there's a C-3PO, there's a Boba Fett, and a uh, R2-D2, which are going to go aligned up there. And that is my pin board. I'm going to get a little bit closer to this, because this is something that I really want to show off. And this is interesting, because if somebody had to ask me what was my favorite thing in my collection, I may say this, just because that picture in the middle with Angela and I, that is probably one of the best days of my life. And just so many memories are tied to that. And then the pins and stuff are cool, of course. And I just love doing it. But that picture is from us at Disney World in 2019. So this is when I actually qualified for uh, the Masters Pan Ams and weightlifting. So I had my international Masters weightlifting debut for Team USA and actually swept gold. I actually clinched it on my second clean and jerk. So that was awesome. Just such an awesome feeling. And then being able to, it was in Orlando. So being able to be like, yeah, I'm going to Disney World after. And we did. And that was like maybe three hours after I got done lifting. We went straight to the Star Wars stuff. We had such a blast. So just that holds just such a great collection of memories for me. So big fan of that. So we got all this. I guess I'm going to keep doing this a little panorama view things once I do a section. All right. It's getting back here. Sorry, this is too shaky too. Again, I'm a newbie at this. Have another door. This one fit five. So same exact thing. I mix up the different lines, um, mix up the figures in there. Shadows of the Empire and Resistance. Those are both really cool. But yeah, so we've got those there. And then above that, I just have some random stuffed animals and stuff. Got a Porg. Uh, the newest one is that little Jar Jar Binks I got. So I got him. Um, that Roran Chewbacca in the middle, Angela got me a random Boba Fett. Um, there's a Grogu back there, a couple Ewoks, a C-3PO, and that Dio in the back, Megan got me one year. So, that going on. Those are actually some stamps from Matilda. So, that is a super cool gift from her. really enjoy that. They are going to eventually have to be moved, but they're okay for now. And the reason is credit collection. And we are entering my Black Series collection for all the Black Series fans. So the credit collection is going to go straight through there on that line. And at this point, pretty much have all of them that have been released. So those are all there. And they're going to keep stacking. I think I should get the armor next. Um... And then I think there was Grief Karga, Moff Gideon, and then a Queel for the other ones in Wave 2. So I actually think they're cool. I mean, stuff like that, that's for like inbox collectors. And I know those are kind of divisive because people don't want repaints and gimmick lines, but think of like the inbox people. Like stuff like that is the coolest thing. And this, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian and that card back, that is so sick. Disgustingly cool. So but that's how I view a lot of those things, including like the holiday guys up there. But it's I feel like the specialty lines are for the inbox people. It just adds a really cool element of stuff. So I do like them. And I guess we'll go right to that. So I have the five holiday troopers right there uh, that did did come out. There are going to be five more, but obviously we're kind of past that and the shipping delays and everything. And I don't think Hasbro has actually formally announced them. They kind of just got leaked online. So Will we randomly get the holiday figures? Which again, one can go there and then they'll spill into that wall so we've got the room for growth. Or will they be next holidays? We'll see. So, got those there. And then this blank area is gonna be carbonized figures eventually. Right now they are on a shelf. Now we'll tell you why in a little bit. But they're gonna go there and then that's just a really cool Celebration Vader poster in the middle of that, so. Top, I got my Snoke and Throne. I have the Heroes of Endor set, which is so cool. So glad I was able to get one of these. But so, so cool. 
and then the Palpatine and the throne, that's still going for like 150 or 200 bucks, which is crazy to me because usually the newer stuff isn't that valuable relative to like what the market price was. I think it was 50 bucks new. So I bought that and that just got like hot quick, but that is highly coveted. So I got him and then I got the Target exclusive Moloch over there that Angela got me. I think that's pretty cool. So got him up there. So those are kind of my top shelf boxed Black Series figures. Um, this other side is just kind of randomness right now, but there's a Jar Jar. There's a, uh, a retro style Obi-Wan and then uh, the good old Forlom Zuckus mix up card back for the anniversary. I got the uh, Zuckus or Forlom, whoever you want to call him. Got him there. And I'm not really sure where I'm going with that, but it will. They're basically just three things that I have box so i may keep rant, buying random like specialty box ones and keep them on the card but for now they're hanging out there so i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with that but my main black series collection i have them all loose um opened i think they're so cool opened like that and then also just saves a ton of space because all those little boxes it you pretty much have to store them sideways like a bookshelf which is cool, especially with the new boxes that have the little murals on the side. And they 100% did that for that reason. But for the most part, I like these guys loose. So anyway, they are all on risers. Um, I do my best to mix them up. So they're very random without a displayed. And I like doing that because I feel like it makes people look at every individual one more so than just if it was a shelf full of troopers or a, a prequel shelf or something like if people didn't like a movie or something that much, they can just scan over it easily be like, oh yeah, that's cool. But anyway, I feel like when they're all integrated like this, it just adds more diversity to everything and just forces you to look at everything a lot more in depth. But this is shelf number one of my Black Series. And then we're going over here. We got shelf number two. I'll try my best to show off everything in here. But there is a lot. There's probably close to 200 of these things in here. And then next row. I was going to play some background music, but then I got scared YouTube was going to call me out for not using my own intellectual property. So there's awkward silence. I'm sorry. I could try to hum a song or something, but showing off my black series. Let's get next shelf over here. Well, these things are so sweet. Next shelf. Zalbar, <laughs> so cool. And obviously all these uh, standard like LED strip lights, color changing, I have one set brand that I buy just to make sure the colors will be exactly the same because some of them can vary. So if you're looking into getting into lighting for your displays, just be mindful of that. And then the ones I got too were these individual strips, which I liked versus like the one long, like rolling tape strip of lights, just because then you can, it's a heck of a lot easier to do individual displays where you don't have cords or just random lights somewhere. So if anybody's curious what I get for that, I could easily tell you which ones of those I buy, including the stands. All that stuff, the risers. <laughs> I have a pretty specific thing I get for everything. And that's just trial and error, finding what I like best. The risers I picked, honestly, were because they ship with care. I bought risers once through Amazon, and six of them I bought. Three of the six were broken through shipping. And they were just thrown into a box. I was like, are you kidding me? So these are actually taken... This company took really good care of those, so I appreciated that, but...
a lot going on in the Black Series. So this all I have for like full rows of the riser shelves. So now these last three shelves have some box stuff, which they look great, but they're kind of place fillers as well. So how I said the uh, carbonized figures, they're eventually all going to go up there. And yes, I do have the three new ones pre-ordered if and when Target ever actually releases them. So they're all going to go up there. This will be another riser shelf. But for now, I got my carbonized collection back there. I have all of them at this point. Mandalorian is so cool. The Boba Fett is so cool. I really like all of them, to be honest. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. So I just think they look really, really sweet. And then I got a Wampa, the new Gen Urso, and then a Ray's Speeder, which again, really, really cool vehicle. Got the Swoop from Solo, uh, Empy's Nest from Solo, and a Speeder Bike, and then just kind of collection of some of our leading ladies. We got Padme, Light Side and Dark Side Ray. Actually, I have the San Diego Comic-Con Sith Trooper. Did not go, but I got that off eBay. But I do have that split in the seam. And then, uh, yeah, Clone Wars Ahsoka, Rebels Ahsoka. And that's my only first edition that I have. It's a Stormtrooper. So, got those. And then, last shelf for the Black Series. And again, all these, the Jin, the Wampa, the... Uh, Stormtrooper and the Bodhi Rook. These are all like newer figures that I recently got and they're all going to go on risers eventually. But like I said, I don't want a whole blank shelf with just three figures on <laughs> all that riser. So they're going to be kind of just hanging out for a while. And the time is right, then I'll make the changes. But here I got some of the comic like book figures. Um, the Heir of the Empire, the Crimson Air Empire. It's the... Uh, Skywalker Strikes back there, the Darth Maul, then the Star Wars Adventures Jackson. So all those are in there, boxed. Um, I got the prototype Boba Fett from the Blue Line, which was 2013, I think, maybe 2015 that came out, but something like that. But anyway, that is my Black Series collection. One of my favorite collections in this entire place. Black Series is so cool, but again, I love so much stuff, so it's kind of hard to pick one thing. That's why I always default back to that amazing day with my amazing wife, but this is up there. And again, we'll just kind of do another little pan by uh, some stuff. We are 32 minutes into this, folks. If you're still here, I am blown away at your diligence. <laughs> and my Funko. These are my Funko Pops, my Funko collection. So this is the one thing right now where I'm kind of curious about how I'm going to do what I was talking about earlier, being able to add more over time. Cause it's pretty stacked and I sadly have some Funkos back here that are kind of just hanging out on the floor. I gotta find them a good home, but this is one of those where I say I'm done buying them and then they have two out that I really want and then I buy them. So we'll see. But the beauty of Funko is they're cheap. These things are not expensive. And with that, there's so many of them and they actually go into such a uh, like discreet minute dig into the characters that they make which i love there's so many obsolete aliens and droids where that's what makes star wars so cool like i don't want ten thousand luke skywalkers i mean i'm happy to have them but i want to ugnot i want to mithril you know like funko does such a good job of just putting out random things so have a lot of pops at least a couple hundred so then these are the uh, infamous Michael's craft store uh, baseball bat display cases, which some wise, amazing person has found. These things are perfect for displaying these things. Pain in the butt to hang by yourself, but they do look great. And there will be some glare. Apologies if there is, but I'm just going to kind of show these off a couple shelves at a time. Knight Brothers, super cool. Got Ula in Funko form. 
So if everybody thinks we will never get a Ula of anything ever, there is a Funko Ula, so maybe some hope. Yeah, Malik. Crate Luke is really good. Oh, no glare here. That's my glow in the dark Ahsoka right there. I have a ton of Funkos, and those are like the Saga Gold series. I actually have all nine of those. Kept them in the box just because I thought it looked cool, and then a uh, cool Last Jedi poster above those. So this is my first Funko area. I think I bought eight of those uh, shelves. And then I have some more over here. I have a Rancor to Wampa. And then the uh, Last Jedi throne room scene going with Rey and Kylo. And then just a couple random rows here. But these uh, first row in the riser, I actually have the Bad Batch ones. And then Omega in there. You got a couple Commandos. You got the uh, Rebels one on the left. And then a uh, boss from a Republic Commando video game on the right. And then the second row, I actually have all the Knights of Ren. And then on one side, I got Ben Solo. On the other side, I have Kylo Ren. And then I have a sequels thing going on here. So just kind of four of the more main villains, Hux, Phasma, Snoke, and Palps. And then uh, four of the more main heroes. You got Ray, Finn, Poe, and Chewie. And then next row down, I have a lot more like the uh, like movie moment or playset looking things. As well as some uh, little mystery minis. Or Funko. I don't have a ton of those, but I do have maybe seven or eight of them. My favorite scene in the whole saga, right there. Got the Cad Bane, the Mace Windu, Yavin Leia, Boba Fett with Han and Carbonite. That Ahsoka is so cool, as, long, as well as that Wicket. Aiden Versio. And that is it for my Funko stuff. But yeah, I love Pops. They're super fun. I think the stylized aspect is really cool. And as you're seeing, it's easy to get too many of them, <laughs> but... I will just randomly go on Amazon maybe once a month and just see what's used and just see, label it from like low to high price wise, set it there and see if there's anything much cheaper than retail, then I'll buy them. So that's how I get a lot of these. So I get my Black Series, goes into my, my Pops. I have three Black Series helmets. I got the Vader, the Stormtrooper, and the Incinerator Trooper. And then above that, I actually have my Black Series lightsabers. These are so sweet. Uh, I have Luke at this point as my lone good guy lightsaber. And Luke is actually in the middle splitting all the bad guys. So splitting the seam. So we got Luke's green saber there. And on each side of Luke, we got Darth Vader to the right. We got Palpatine to the left. And then we got Count Dooku to the left of Palpatine. We have Darth Maul. Yes, I do have both sides of it. We have Darth Maul's saber next to Vader. We got Kylo Ren, and then we got Asajj Ventress. So it kind of like works its way out, Master and Apprentice, kind of. We got the main good guy, the OT, and then we got kind of two of the main bad guys. And then that works out to Palpatine's other apprentices in the prequels. Uh, we got the Sith Assassin that was under Dooku, and then we got Kylo Ren. So we got those going on there, and yes, they do all work. Uh, and batteries, everything going on, so they all work. Super, 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 super cool. And then over here, I got my TV, of course. And then I have my Lego collection. So I don't have a huge Lego collection just for space. Um, I do love them, and I absolutely love building them. So I do have quite a few, but that's something that it's just so hard to store and they're so hard to move once they're built. 
So I don't have a ton of Legos, but I do like them quite a bit, and I'm always accepting Lego donations. But I'll find a place, but I do sadly have an unopened Falcon, uh, the Solo one I have, not the $800 one, but I have the Solo Falcon in storage, and then also a Kylo Ren TIE Fighter. So I don't even I don't even have all the Lego sets that I own built, just because I have nowhere to put the things. But up here, I kind of just have some of my smaller ones, little speeders, stuff like that. Uh, I got Poe's X-Wing over there. And then this is kind of some random Last Jedi stuff. And BB-8 steals the ATST. And below that, you got a Sega Genesis. Does work. And games, stuff like that. Uh, controllers are on the side. There's a Mandalorian, predominantly Mandalorian shelf. And then Anakin's fighter, whatever. Fighter ship, whatever the crap that's called. But anyway, back there, that's one of the May the 4th giveaways. I haven't built any of those, but I have them... 2019, 2020, and that's the 2021 one. So I got that back there. Got a Y-Wing, some Rebel Troopers there. A little Clone Wars thing going on. Yeah, Ahsoka slashing up some droids. We got Director Krennic Shuttle from Rogue One. Super sweet. And then a Grogu. That's probably probably my favorite Lego thing I've built so far. Um. Again, my power lifter ladies got me that. Super awesome. And then I have the one of the again May the Fourth giveaways I was talking about. We got Tie Fighter with the ATM six. That was actually from the Battle of Crate. And then we have the Nabu Starfighter. And then the last one of those that I have the giveaway May the Fourth things. It's actually pretty sweet too. This is the Emperor's Throne Room. From Return of the Jedi, got that going on. Random stuff, we got Yoga, Yoda, Dagobah Hut, and then uh, TIE Fighter Pilot, also Powerlifters got me that. And then my N64, got the Nintendo 64, again it works, so all the games are in there, 64 games are in there, Genesis games are there, there's a 360 there, it's not hooked up though, I just have nowhere to put it currently. I may end up putting a switch dock in here too eventually. This is my little TV area, and I got my Legos. We are 42 minutes in. I have not run out of space on my phone yet, which is crazy. And somebody out there may still be watching this video, which is even crazier. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Vintage Collection. So I have them all mounted to the wall in the command strips again. Same theme as the uh, Black Series. I kind of have them mixed, staggered. I try to mix up the movies, the colors. Try to get as much viewability out of everything as I can. But these are so, so cool. I keep all my vintage collection on the box just because I love the cards. I just think the style, it just adds to it. They look so cool. And it pays homage to what the original figures and box art look like that was the whole concept behind this but unbelievable um i have over 100 of these so i have maybe half of them i would love to talk about each and every one of these but i don't think i have time <laughs> so we're just going to keep going upward and panning through but These things are great. Big fan of the TVC. And again, they're stretching over the uh, Build-A-Bears, and then I got some up there. So those are eventually going to spill over where those two little canvases are, and then I got all that wall space too up there. So I have room for that to grow, and then of course those will just get removed. And you'll also notice I have the uh, the carbonized collection kind of splitting the seam vertical down the middle there. So we got those. And that's my TVC. So.
And that's pretty much the room. This is a 45 minute video, folks. That is my Star Wars collection tour room as of 2021. Year's end. The lights all change color. I do a lot of hanging out here. A lot of just, I don't want to say wasting time, but just vegging out and just defragging, decompressing. Just a big kid at heart, as you should be. May the force be with you. And go buy some Star Wars figures and Lego and build them. And may the force be with you.